From the Hoover Dam to the deserts of Nevada, and even into the crowds of Las Vegas, this is US Airsoft at SHOT Show 2022, which was sponsored by SS Airsoft. That's a lot better. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? I'm Nigel with Elite Force. We're here at SHOT Show 2022. I'm going to go over some of our brand new products for 2022 or things that have just released. Uh, starting off right here, of course you guys know the tan and black 1911 TAC is the gun that built Elite Force, right? One of our most popular sellers uh, really helped put us on the map as a brand uh, 10 years ago. And we were thinking about doing a limited edition for 2022 when the idea came up. I said, man, what better way than to pay tribute to the classic? So here you can see it's going to have some port cuts on top. This is the 1911 Elite Force TAC Legacy. So it's going to come with the port cutted slide, and then um, it'll have the extended mag as default. So it's the same port cuts that you saw on the 1911 Weathered Limited Edition from maybe six years ago, seven years ago. So if you're familiar with that, that's going to be uh, the same style um, over here. Briefly, real quick, it is noteworthy. We've been showing you guys our Smith & Wesson licensed MP9 series. Um, they are finally coming, I have it, uh, on, on good authority that the VFC Green Gas Blowback Editions, uh, as far as their version of the Performance Center, the MP9 in both tan and black, and then the uh, compact model, all Green Gas VFC OEM, OEM, they will be available next month so for the u.s market you guys that have been waiting for these they will be hitting the shelves next month so be on the lookout for that over here of course the wall of glock um you, you guys are familiar with a lot of these but uh noteworthy the new guys the new guy in town right packing a punch the g42 uh or 43 people ask but it's all six millimeter right so this is a a replica of the model Glock put out, it's recently new, uh, maybe three or four years ago. Um, so if you have one of these and you're looking for the Airsoft equivalent, um, that will be available. This is Green Gas Blowback VFC OEM, about 300 feet per second. So be on the lookout for that. Fun gun, compact. And then uh, up top, a lot of uh, interest, a lot of buzz, a lot of chatter. This is gonna be the GHK OEM Glock 17. So, for you guys familiar with GHK, uh, very nice craftsmanship. They take a lot of pride in their gas blowback projects, known for their AKs. This is their jump into the Glock world. Uh, proprietary gas blowback system in there, um, very crisp. It's hard to translate on film. If you get your hands on one at the store or if your buddy has one, definitely check it out um, when they're available. Very crisp blowback. Uh, it feels like CO2 recoil, but it's ran on a green gas system. So. Um, if you want something comparable, if, if you're a real Glock owner and uh, you, you want the Airsoft equivalent, this is gonna be one of the nicest ones out there. CNC slide, just a very nice replica, uh, and it's gonna perform very well as well. Um, be on the lookout for that in the next two to three months. So those are in production, those are on the way. Very exciting. Come over here and I'll show you some AGs. Okay, the big one, right? This is big for us because Elite Force, we've never had a machine gun or a saw, so we're pretty stoked on this. It's gonna be the Agent K licensed MG4 AEG. It's gonna be OEM by VFC. I just say a lot of letters, don't I? OEM, AEG, v But anyways, MG4, <laughs> uh, really excited for this one. Big drum on the side, powered by the battery itself. Uh, this is gonna be holding 5,000 rounds. The nice thing about this, man, also, it's not as heavy as you think it is. It's gonna be more of an aluminum composite, which I like. It's nice, it's good quality, but it's not gonna weigh you down. They didn't go overboard on the weight of this thing. So 5,000 round drum, but if you don't want that, you can detach it. One of the cool features about this guy is um, you can plug that hole right there where your drum mag would insert into. You just put a plug there. Uh, and it has an 800 round internal reservoir. So you just fill this guy up right here and then when it you put the receiver down, 800 BBs. I think it's a great idea. You can just hang some dummy rounds off the side and you're not having to worry about that big bulky drum on the side. So whatever you want to do, there's a couple different options on that. Uh, that's more of a 2023 release. It'd be cool to see this towards the end of the year, but it is slated uh, quite a ways away as far as time goes. So 
Uh, we'll keep you guys updated throughout the year on the progress of this guy. H&K license MP5 SD6. Uh, it comes in the retractable stock configuration out of the box. Full metal, right? So full metal SD win. Everybody that's been asking me on Instagram for the last three, four years. We've had the competition model, which is going to be the polymer construction. Now we have the full metal option. Um, and it's going to come with your optic mount there. So whatever optic you want, drop it on. You're good to go. If you want the solid stock, guess what? It comes with the gun. So if you want retractable, you got it out of the box. If you want to put the solid stock on it, good to go. If you need the battery space or whatever. Uh, so that's exciting. We finally got our metal SD. Uh, moving down, we're looking at some 416. So we got a black one there. And then of course we got the tan 416 below it. Uh, now these guys are going to be a nylon reinforced polymer construction body as far as the receiver goes and rail system uh, with your you know typical metal components, barrel, buffer tube, things like that. If you like the 416, uh, but have always been kind of scared away from that 416 price tag when it comes to like the VFC upwards of $450. Um, this is going to be at retail for around $250. So there you go. Uh, if, if, you, if you want the 416, but you, you need the, the budget friendly price, we'll have that available for you. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and let's see what else we've got here. Ah, the shotgun, the, the Elite Force Tri Shot. This is going to be new. For 2022, it should be available by midsummer. Um, full metal receiver on this guy. You have a fixed M-lock style front handguard. Now this is no pumping involved because it's going to be CO2. CO2 12 gram goes in the buffer tube here, and with every pull of the trigger, semi-auto, it's going to shoot three BBs at a time. It takes your standard uh, spring type um, shotgun shell magazine. So if you have a bunch of those, as I know a lot of you do at home, it will fit with this gun. And then you get uh, 10 shots per shell, 30 round shell. Uh, yeah, so I'm really excited for this one, man. Retail on this is going to be around $250. Um, you can put your favorite M4 stock on it and you can change out the pistol grip as well. So it's going to have some cool options for customizability. And then of course the rail along the top. You guys have been asking for it for a long time, right? We've got some uh, different size, uh, excuse me, different weights, different options, and, and thousand round bags of BBs. Um, so you guys know that we always stopped at a .32 bio for our heavyweight BB. And the demand's out there with everyone running, you know, um, higher performing bolt action rifles, and things like that for a heavier BB. So we do have our .40 thousand round bag, heavy reserve, six millimeter bio BB. So be on the lookout for those. Uh, very price point affordable, budget friendly. Um, and then for the guys running tracers, everyone's got the tracer units nowadays. We've got the .25 thousand round bag, the .20 thousand round bag. And then for the outdoor guys, uh, some fields and things like that, um, we've got the .25 bio thousand round bag. So I think these are a great alternative if you're not wanting to sink 20 bucks in. It's the end of the day at the field, right? And you just want to get a couple more games in, something like this, boom. It's not going to hurt the wallet too much. It'll keep you, keep you in the game. So there you go, guys. That about wraps it up, man. Is there anything else, Scotty? No? Okay. You gotta go get a beer? All right.